Now let us see how to generate random numbers in Java. Now many times we need to generate random numbers such as for a for a game, for a dice game where we need to generate a different number every time. And uh, let us say we are playing a, a dice game and for every chance we need to generate a number which is uh, from 1 to 6 or let us first simply see how we can generate a random number. Now for a random number the class available is random within the util package. Now it has different methods to generate random numbers. Now suppose I need to generate some 10 numbers from 0 to 100. So I will just put on a loop int i is equal to 0 i less than 10 plus plus i Now this has a method called next int and you can put on a value in this say 100. So this will generate a number between 0 to 100. So I can put on number. So let us see the values. So as you can see the range of the values lies between 0 to 100 and they are random values that we cannot have a guess on. Now let us see how we can generate values for a die say from 1 to 6. So the minimum value should be 1 and the maximum value should be 6. So we will have the minimum say 1 and the maximum say 6. So we have range is equal to max minus minimum. So what I'll do now is suppose we are getting ten values out of this. Now we have another method which is next double. Now what double does is, it generates a value from 0 to 1. So this generates a number which is between 0 to 1. And in case I multiply this with the range, so we get a number which is between 0 and the range. So in case I have say, now 0 to 1 is the value that is given by next double and if I multiply this with the range which is 5 in this case so I get a number between 0 and 5 so in case this is 0 so this will be a number which will be ranging between 0 to 5 and in case I add the minimum to this so I get a number between 1 to 6. So this is how we can generate a number between 1 to 6. I have a range multiplied by r dot next double. r dot next double gives me a number between 0 to 1. Multiplying this by the range will give me a number between 0 to the range which is 5. And adding this I can add here minimum plus number so this gives me the actual number now what exactly happens here is as r dot next double gives me a double value multiplying this by an int gives me a double value so i need to cast this to a int so i've cast this to an int and then i can add this to the minimum value. So let us see what values we get. So as you can see we got 5, 3, 2, 1, 4, 4. So we get values between 1 and 6. So every time I run this program I can get a different set of values.
So I see six is quite difficult to come by. Mm. This is why because the number here comes between zero to five, and it is always less than five. So what we can do is another thing we can do here is that I can use a class called math and use something called ceiling and pass this the range dot instead of range let me multiply this directly by max so what this will do is this is some error coming let me first yeah Or I'll do it step by step so that we have more clarity on this. So let me first generate a random number which is r dot next double. So this is the first number that I generate a double. Now I multiply this double with maximum value so this gives you a number this is multiplying 0 to 1 with a value 6 so this will be a number from 0 to 6 0 to 6 but not exactly 6 so we need to up instead of if I get a value 5.7 so I need to up this value to 6 if I get 4.7, I need to up this value to 5. If I get 0 0.7, I need to up this value to 1. So I don't need to put this on the lower side. I need to put this value to the upper side. So I'll now have int number is equal to cast this to an int which is math dot ceiling and I'll pass dd to this. So math draw ceiling what it will do is it will increase the number to a to the next higher number. So in case the value is 3.25 it will generate 4. In case the number is 3.56 it will move to 4. So to the next higher number this will convert the number to. So now I can just simply print the number. So we need a number between 1 to 6. So now you can see we 6 is also coming and we get more variety in this. So either way we can manipulate the number. So the main important thing in this is the r dot next double which generates a value between 0 to 1 and accordingly we can use this seed to get values of any range as we have seen but two different ways either by adding the minimum value and multiplying this by range or by multiplying this by the maximum value and then you can use different methods either you can use math.ceiling or you can use math.floor what math.floor will do is it is come down to the lower value but still as we we are not inclined to take 0 as a value so that is why we have not used floor math.floor 
will return 0 for 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 and then we also have math.round will which will round off to the next value so in case round works as in case we have a value say 2.2 so it will return 2 in case we have 2.6 so this will return us 3 so this will round off to the next value ceiling always returns the next highest value and floor returns the ne the lowest value of the number if 2.2 it will return 2 2.6 it will return again 2 so this is how we can randomly generate values